How's it going guys, it's Owen here, and today we're playing some more Final Fantasy XV. In the last episode we ran around um, doing the different side quests. Then we'll be doing that again in this episode, and the episode after we'll be carrying on with the main quest, because as you can see that still have quite a few um, side quests on the mini-map still. Oh. Hey boys, <laughs> you uh, got time to lend a fella a helping hand? Sure, I'll help you. Well, it's not a simple shopping trip this time. Nope, this one's gonna take some effort. I'm sending y'all straight to the source this time. In other words, it's hunting time. The stuff I want y'all to collect, I'm fixing to use in a new dish. Hope you can help me out. We have what we came for. Get it back before it spoils. Sweet. So we actually have now a decent side quest from him. But before we leave for that quest, there's actually a little, there's another one over this way. That's what he says anyway. Cool. Wonder what he's cooking up. Let's do this hunt and find out. I ran straight past it. There we go. Sid's got a little something for us. Interesting toy you got there. This? It's just something we picked up after taking out some Imperials. Well, I'll be Crown City Maid. If you like, I can make this puppy better. Give it more oomph. How? I can mod it for you. Mod it? Look, I got diddly squat to do what with Cindy taking care of the garage. If you can find the parts, I can do the work for you. So this is how we pretty much customize our own weapons then. So he unequipped it first. Since he was talking about the sphere, I'm assuming that's what we have to unequip. Oh, not that one. How do I remove it? There we go. So that's not the weapon he was talking about. Unless I have to take it off, um... Him. You got me there we I go. Need. I'll take it from here. So I have to take off Vignus's weapon. Here she is. Try her out and let me know what you think. That was a pretty easy quest. Give that back to Ignis though. Can I keep, got anything for you yet? I do not. Nah, oh, I've done. There we go. So with that being said, let's continue on with the side quests. What's the next one we have to do? Level 8, 6, 7, 6. May as well get on with this one first. Do the lower level ones first, get them out of the way. Looking at it, there was something over there though, it's like a rhino. Imperials above us. <laughs> and we've got Imperials. It literally stopped the brothers. That's just perfect. Well, well, nothing, we've done, nothing to worry about. We beat the, we kicked their asses last episode. We can easily do it again. Alright, I'm waiting for you. What's going on? Oh, my guy is confused for some reason. Excuse me. Don't die on me. I have no idea what the hell happened there. Literally nothing to worry about. Ah, here's the ore. Took me a little while. And we've been attacked again. Forget about 
Well, I've got the ore anyway, so may as well just end this fight here. We might as well get the experience from it since it's already started. hell out of here before another fight starts. I right, finally ready to turn in this quest for this guy. This gave us a lot of trouble simply because the Mipiros kept attacking us. Hey, you made it back. You guys hold up all right out there? More or less. Excellent. Come on, you ought to be proud of yourself, your highness. The work you did today could save lives. How's that? Well, you see, most folks know better than to go out at night. But some people don't have a choice. Am I right? I guess. They may not have a choice, but my pieces can give them a chance. So hey, how's about you give it a try and see for yourself? I'm a man of my word, so here you go. I look forward to doing business with you again sometime, gentlemen. See, I'm not entirely sure how much of that I'm going to keep in though, but as you can see from the experience, we were attacked about 4 or 5 times by the Imperials before we even found that ore. <laughs> that definitely took a lot longer than it should have done. So this guy's got another quest for us apparently. But first let's see what that item actually was that he gave us. I believe it was an accessory, wasn't it? No, that's outfits. There we go. Increases attack by quite a bit. So who's got the lowest attack here? His main weapon 130, 48. I don't know who to give it to, to be honest. We'll just give it to my guy. So that's all we got for now. How do you actually unlock more outfits then? May as well have them wear a different alternative outfit for now. Oh, I'm changing his um, accessories. We'll have no jacket because it's really sunny. <laughs> Right, let's get going. Oh no, got to accept this quest, don't we? You don't really know how to sniff out a scope, your highness. You uh, might just have a future in journalism. Well, at least that makes one of us. Oh, touche. So look, I need a hand. Thing is, it's too dangerous for your average Joe. That's where you come in. I'll make it worth your while. So we've got to find another stone. Again. Given our run-ins with him thus far, I doubt this excursion will go unrewarded. Yeah, but I'm still running his errands. This is the guy who agreed to run him. I'm not entirely sure what the mission was here. I actually was trying to um, skip towards the right, the um, hunting trip thing here, but apparently we've already got the ingredients that we need. Yeah, that vinyl thing we were trying to kill earlier, we actually managed to kill in the um, Imperial attack. That's actually the enemy we were actually trying to kill in, with, for this guy. So that worked out quite well. Oh, uh, how was the hunt, boys? Good. What are you going to make with this stuff? Something I know you'll like. You mean... Yep. So y'all make sure to drop by and order some. In the meantime, this here will put some meat on your bones. 
So don't get a free meal, just trying to help you. Appears not. He's going on the business after all though. Alright, that would went one into a lot quicker than I thought it was. So what I'm gonna do is actually do the uh, quest for um Sydney here. Except this one while we're here as well though. And I'll probably end the episode after doing the Sydney oh, quest. <laughs> so uh you won't do me a favor? Sure. What is it this time? Another hunt. My cupboard's darn near empty. Okay, we're on it. Knew I could count on y'all. Good hunting. So I was going to do the mission for Dino, but apparently I can't do that because like this one, it's past the main quest. So unfortunately until we do the main quest, we can't actually continue on these missions. Which is no bad thing really, because actually then I can narrow down the side quests a little bit. Take his chef's knife and doink! He's no doubt aware of the proper points of separation. Would be quite the carver. Not creepy at all. Please, somebody help! What's going on here? Definitely heard it, so did the characters, but where from? Oh. Is it down this way? I have absolutely no idea. What are you jumping for? Magitek engine. It's close. This will make a fine paint. Huh? Oh, that was it. I was expecting like a little fight or something like that. Oh, never mind. We ain't actually got there yet. This is the place Cindy mentioned, right? Should be. Let's start looking. I don't know why, but I feel strange when leveled for this place. Hopefully that bad feeling just um me being stupid. Didn't mean to do that. Now we seem fine, that's good. Onward. I was trying to, but not suddenly stop running. Why does not keep stops running every time? This is it. Looks pretty old. It's not old. Ring Before we head back, I'm going to run back to the little town and try and find where that little voice came from that was actually calling for our help. Thank you so much. I call that a job well done. Man, with a cry like that, I thought you were dying. That was quite a disappointment. I actually thought he was being attacked like by a massive monster or something. I actually we got a little paint for you. Where are you? There you are. You found it! Well, I'll be. And it's still in pretty good condition, too. Slap some of this wax on your car. And y'all be gliding down the road and saving gas, too. Nice. Don't go believing it out of hand, though. That's just what the rumors say, among a bunch of other things. Still, in every rumor, there's a grain of truth. After all, when it comes to cars, Crown City folk know their business. 
it's a right shame they put up the wall 30 years ago. A lot of goods became the stuff of legend, including this wax. That's too bad. Paw Paw left the city and never looked back. So I've only ever come across what he had lying around the garage. But now that we got ourselves a can, why don't we crack her open and put those rumors to the test? Let me know if you want me to give you a hand with the waxing. Alright, mission complete. As you can see, we've got another quest on the mini map for Sydney here. Well, we're going to be doing that in the next episode. If you'd like to see more of this game, do let me know in the comments below. That being said, I'll see you in the next video. Goodbye, take care, and thank you all so much for watching.